Hey everybody, welcome back. Stephen and John from Davenich European Martial Arts School. Today, we're going to revisit our old friend, the rapier. This is a fun fencing tool that is devastating when used properly. The thrusting actions can be so fast and the point control allows you to put that point wherever you want to stab them. Today, we're going to be talking about a guard, a guardia, called Mezzacecchio. Mezzacecchio is an Italian guard. It means middle cheek. The guard positions that we have the rate with the rapier are prima, secunda, which is supinated, terza, edge up and down, quarta, which is pronated with the pommel in front of my left shoulder. In secunda, my pommel's just outside my right shoulder. Obviously, these will be backwards if you're left-handed. From quarta, if we incline our hand to 45 degrees, we are now in a position called mezzacecchio. Mezzacecchio, middle cheek, protects my face. So if I have an opponent that is trying to go around my guard in quarta, I can still protect myself with mezzacecchio. Let's show you how that works. We have, for whatever reason, ended up in a duel. And we have both taken our guardia, our guard. And we're both going to start in a bastard secunda, so halfway between second and third. My partner is going to thrust home in quarta, capturing my blade and stabbing me in the chest. So we have this, no, keep your hand there. So we have this bend. Can we do that again? Perfect, good. Now I'm gonna do it to my partner because I'm gonna be successful. And I can just put that into his chest cavity. One more time, I engage in opposition, extend, thrust home, recover. Now, he is in this bastard secunda. The theory of rapier fencing means that he would want to move to quarta in, uh, to oppose my thrust and allow me to run onto his point. So let's try that, nice and slow. I engage in opposition, he does opposition, my lunge throws myself right onto his point. One more time. Ah. You threw your shoulder. I threw my shoulder. Just yep. let me do all the work for you. Yep. And that's what we get. Now I came up on my back toe, don't do that. I did that just because I was focused on getting hit by his point. I should not have done that. I should have completed my thrust and kept my balance in a good position. Let's do that again. Sir. I will always point out my mistakes to you because if I'm making them, I will guarantee you there are other people making these mistakes as well. And I want you to see them so you are aware of them in your own body if you are doing it. So if we can do that again, please. Yes, sir. There's what I wanted. Great. That is what proper fencing theory says we should do. However, sometimes we have people that just want to make the hit and they're not thinking about the four inches of steel penetrating their chest cavity. So what he's gonna do this time, nice and slow please, is we're gonna go back on guard I'm going to be begin my action, and now you're just going to come straight forward, and we get that. And you can see why I want to go slow with this. It'll go to the face or the throat most often. One more time, same speed. Oh, now you just guided me into your throat too. Yep. This is where Mezzacecchio comes in. So if we do that again, I come through. I rotate to Mezzacecchio, and that just sends his point right over my head. So if I'm here, 
I'm getting hit. But as soon as I go to Mezzacecchio, that uses the geometry of my cage to defend me. And I can still put my hand up here for extra defense. Can we switch sides and do that again, please? Yes, sir. From both of us being in this, I'm going to be successful in capturing my opponent in Quarta because I caught him unaware and I just thrust home. Now he's going to oppose my thrust and let me run onto his point. Perfect. Now he's going to just stab me in the face, nice and slow. This is something that I've seen happen a lot. And I'm going to counter this with Mezzacecchio. And it goes right next to me. One more time. It's going to be very hard because as soon as he goes over my cage, he's actually going over my head. Yep. That is why Mezzacecchio has to be middle cheek. If it's lower at your shoulder, your face is still vulnerable. All right. Let me, just so you can see how that's going to look, let's do it one more time. I'm just going to do my Mezzacecchio a little low. Got it. Ready? Ready. And this is where we both get hit. But if I was up at the right angle, it's right there. And then I can always follow through with my other hand to give me that protection I need. And I'll use my hand in the same way that we would use our dagger, which we will be doing future videos on the use of the dagger as well. Thank you everybody for joining us. This was just a little introduction to Mezzacecchio. It is a useful tool, but you want to be careful that you're not inadvertently rolling too high all the time. It's a tool, not your only tool. Use it only when you need it. You can put a screw in with a hammer, but you have to work a lot harder. You can put a nail in with a screwdriver, but you have to work a lot harder. Use the tool when it's the appropriate time for that tool. Do you have anything you'd like to add, John? Um, yeah. Looking into the position there, remembering with this tool specifically, the effort behind this should be way less than you think it should be. If you think you're putting in a small amount of effort to move this tool, think less. Yeah, it's probably too big. It's probably too big, and that can cast you past the shoulder, over somebody, and around them. When I was using Mezzacecchio, how close were you to my head? I was not that close, actually. I oh, had about yeah. a good... My point went about six inches out. I will tell you, it felt really close to me. <laughs> really close. And that leads back into that area of make it small. Because a small change of action close to your center becomes a very large change of action at the point of your blade. It felt, to me, it felt almost too small. But it was the right size. Uh, when you have their point flashing past you like this, it is scary. But understanding the theory that makes it work allows you to utilize these actions safely. Would you agree? Yep, I would definitely agree. So thank you very much for joining us. If you liked what you saw today, please hit the subscription button and the notification icon and share this with other people that you know that might be interested in the rapier. John, thank you, sir, for your help. You're very welcome. Thank you for joining us today. Have a lovely day. Have fun out there, everyone. Would you like to know more? <laughs>